Welcome to another Movement Monday. This week's move of the week are calf raises. This is an exercise that's featured prominently in Convict Conditioning 2 as a shotgun muscle. And it's also, of course, one of my favorites because I've always loved calf training and it has a lot of functional carryover towards things like skiing, cycling, basically anything you use your legs for when they're connected to the ground. Uh, the first thing to know about calf raises is they are a total leg exercise. Yes, the calves are getting the lion's share of it, and we are dominantly moving at the ankle joint, but all of the other muscles in your lower body should be involved in this. So when we do a calf raise, we want to make sure our glutes are tight, our quads are engaged, our hamstrings are engaged, even the shin muscles to some degree. So it's like we've got a pillar of tension going up and down the entire leg. Second point is they don't always have to be done on a block or some sort of a uh, elevated device. In fact, I often encourage people start off with doing calf raises on the flat floor and use them as a balance style stabilization exercise. Because too many people, when they start doing calf raises, they rely on things like Smith machines, other machines, uh, they're leaning onto things too much. They don't have enough stability and the calves are playing a major role in the stabilization of your body. So standing calf raises with your entire leg tensed up to at least some degree kissing your heels to the floor and elevating yourself back up, that's gonna set a good strong foundation for all of your calf work moving on from here. From there, yes, you can move on to an elevated surface, but be aware of how your footwear and the elevated surface interact with each other. When we do a calf raise, it's typically on something like a block or a step of some nature. But what ends up happening is our shoes have a sole fairly stiff sole, so the sole impedes our ability to range of motion to roll on the ball of the foot. It's not necessarily about the toes, it's about rolling on the ball of your foot. So if you're doing it on a flat surface, like a step, go barefoot, is my recommendation, and let the ball of the foot roll on that step. If you're doing it on with shoes, I recommend something like my calf pipe that I've done a video on in the past, something with a rounded edge, so that way the flat surface or the relatively flat surface of the sole of your shoe can roll on that pipe. You can also see like curbs are a good way to do this. If you can find some sort of a step with a rounded edge, that works also as well. Finally, progressions of the calf raises. Of course, we've got the f on the floor, then we've got elevated, then of course we have single leg calf raises being kind of the creme de la creme of calf raise strictly for body weight training. Now when we're doing it with single leg, what we want to make sure is the foot is on our center line and we're really kind of sitting into the side of our hips, similar to what I talked about last week with unilateral exercises with pistol squats. So this way you're using your hips to stabilize yourself and you want to have minimum support and balance control from your upper body if you can because you want basically basically your leg and your calf to be doing as much of the work to both move you and stabilize you as possible. If you're doing this one leg at a time, just alternate between the two. Do 10, 15, 20, 30, a million on one leg and then immediately go to the other leg. While that leg's working, the other one's resting. So there's no real like rest period, just kind of bounce back and forth between the two. Also, don't worry about playing around with various like foot angles, toes pointed in, toes pointed out, that sort of thing. That stuff may be a, a little bit more applicable to physique sports, like bodybuilding, figure, that sort of thing, where you've got to get every square inch of your lower leg in perfect proportion with one another. But for average athletes and Joe Schmoes like you and me, it's probably not worth spending the effort and you're gonna just be diluting your intensity while fragmenting your muscle tension across variations of calf raises. You're probably better off just putting a hell of a lot of determination and focus into a few concentrated sets with your toes pointed forwards. So there you go, calf raises for the week. Play around with it. Let me know if you have questions down below. Check out Convict Conditioning down below too for more on calf raising as well as the other shotgun muscles in the neck and in the forearms. Be fit, live free.